Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. So here we are in Maxon Cinema 4D R25, and it's a huge update with a completely new user interface. And it's getting mixed reviews. Some people love it, some people hate it. Uh, but it's pretty obvious that it's going to get a strong reaction because a lot of us have been using Cinema 4D for, you know, closing in on a decade. And to see all the icons different is quite a shock. But I think it's going to be okay. We're going to get used to it. And it does look pretty, pretty slick. And there's a lot of great usability updates as well. So we'll just have to get used to some new icons here. One thing that's not included anymore is the content browser. And in S24, which was kind of bridging to R25, there was a content browser legacy in here. It's no longer in here. And all we have is the new asset browser, which we can click under window asset browser, or we can click this button right here. All right, so here's our new asset browser. And all these objects are really useful. And you can download these by clicking the little download button. These are all in the cloud right now, so they're not on your hard drive. And you can just download what you need. So there's a lot of great presets and uh, objects and different materials in here. All right, so how do we import our legacy Lib4Ds? Because if you've been following the Pixel Lab and a lot of other uh, companies as well, we have been providing Lib4Ds for a long time now. And most of our products are Lib4Ds. Um, some of these um, VDB assets like the clouds and the fire, those are not, so you don't have to worry about it. But a lot of our material packs, like our ones for Octane and our ones for Redshift, are Lib4Ds that you would put in the content browser. Well, it's really easy to import them into the new asset browser, so that's great. All you have to do is go to Create, and under Create, there's an option for importing the legacy.lib4d, so click on that. And then you just have to navigate to wherever that is on your hard drive. So we're gonna open up this Redshift Mutating Materials, the lib4d, we'll just click on that. First off, you can select the destination of where it's gonna save this out. So by default, it'll go to your preferences. You can also create a new database and put it on your hard drive anywhere that you want. We'll just go to preferences and we'll hit okay. And then it's going to convert that legacy lib4d and put it into the asset browser. So that just took a couple minutes and it says successfully converted all of these assets. And now if we hit okay, we now have that lib4d converted in this converted folder. So if we click on that, you can see that we have our Redshift mutating materials, our metal in here, and we have access to all of our materials now. So super easy, just a couple clicks and a couple minutes to convert it. And now we have that folder. And you can also organize this however you want to. This folder, you can just drag and drop it and put it to any other folder, create new folders, do whatever you want. You can create a really nice organized system here. So this is how to add a new lib4d to the asset browser. Now that the content browser is completely uh, extinct, this is how you're gonna do your workflow from now on. So I hope that helps you out if you're using R25. Looking forward to making some new tips with R25 so you can keep your eyes peeled for that. We'll talk to you next time, ciao.